Hello fifth graders, how are you? In this video, I'm going to give you a summary of week three, which is going to be about the lessons 1.4 and 1.5. So happy new week. I hope you have a great week ahead. We are going to start with lesson 1.4, which is about understanding decimal place value. So we we'll know more about uh, decimals and know how to get the place value and the value of these numbers. You are going to be able to read and write numbers with decimals through thousands using standard form, expanded form, and number names, then identify equivalent decimals. The objective of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to read, write numbers with decimals through thousands in three forms, the standard form, the expanded form, and the word form. And you are going to know how to find the equivalent decimals. So you will be able to read and write the decimals in different ways and use numeral symbols and words. This is a summary of the main ideas in our lesson. This is the table that we are going to use or the place value chart for the decimal numbers. As you see here, it starts with the tenths, hundreds, then the thousands. And on the other side, you have the ones which is uh, so the right side is going to be for the decimal part and the left side is going to be for the whole part. For example, if I want to read this number, I am going to read it as 3 and 847 thousandths. Don't forget to end your number with the word thousandths or hundredths or tenths. And remember that you are going to read the decimal point as and this is called the word name or the word form it's the way you read the number then you have the standard form it is uh, the number written in digits it is the normal way to write the number you will write it as 3.847 then you have the expanded form this is when you expand the number and use the addition sign in the middle so you are going to have to, to write the sum of each value of each digit so you will find the value of each digit then find the sum by using the plus sign in between the second uh, lesson that we are going to start with is comparing decimals we will learn how to compare decimals using the symbols greater than less than and equal to you are going to use place value to compare decimals through thousands. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use place value to compare decimals through thousands. And you are going to use the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to to compare decimals. This is our key concept. If I want to compare the decimals, it's really uh, easier for us to line them up in the place value chart, then find a difference in the amounts. Or you can put them just next to each other and a circle in the middle, then you start comparing, starting from the left side, starting from the ones. Have a lovely week.